Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Cactus Craft Season 3. I don't know why I said it like that, but you might remember last episode I said I was going to be gone for a while. And the main reason behind that is because I've been grinding a lot. So first of all, you might notice that all of my tools are fully repaired, and that's because I got mending on all of my tools, you can see. They all have mending on them, and I just went in and just repaired all of them. And the second thing you might notice is right in my inventory. I have 12 wither skulls. So the main thing I've been grinding out is wither skeleton skulls, and I think you can already tell what we're going to do today. <laughs> so the other day I was doing some thinking, and I know it's dangerous, but here's what I've, like, come up with. So if I try to fight the wither on my own, of course, I'm gonna just die, lose all my stuff within, like, the first two seconds, it's not gonna work out well, and there's just gonna be, like, a loose wither killing everybody who comes near it. So I was thinking of ways to cheese the wither boss fight, you know, like, kill him without actually having to fight, and without losing my stuff, preferably. And everybody knows that the trick where you can, like, spawn him underneath the end portal, uh, thing that leads you back to spawn, I don't know what it's called, but you can spawn him under the bedrock and he'll just suffocate. But we don't have access to the end right now, but then I had a most wonderful idea. While we don't have access to end bedrock, we do have access to nether bedrock, so I was thinking, what would happen if we spawned him underneath the nether roof ceiling? Would he suffocate the same as he does in the end? If this doesn't work, then we're screwed, but let's just pray and hope it does. After all, all you really need to suffocate the wither is just some bedrock and spawn underneath it, and I was thinking, well, I mean, bedrock is bedrock, why can't we just use it? This better work if it doesn't, we're all screwed. Alright, I'm on this seal, and what the heck is that? Is that... Is that just a path? What is this? People moving their portals? I don't know where these portals go, there's all these paths now. It's been a while since I've been on the server. I mean, I've all, I've just been in the fortress, just grinding skulls. I I don't know what's been going on. Is that a new there's a new portal over there too? Wait, wait. I want to see what this new portal is. It's like a hundred blocks away, and I haven't seen this one in this direction before. Although the spawn portals are that way, so let's see what this is. Where, where is what the what 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 where, where am I? What the heck? What what what? How okay okay? What what is that? Holy what what is that? Is that, that, that's like a giant mo oh, okay. Wait, I, let's go check that out. There's like a, why is there another portal in the ceiling? I don't know how to feel about this. It's like, oh my gosh, what the heck? What, what, what the heck even is this? Like, actually. Anyways, now I need to focus on finding a place where I can like actually spawn the wither. So I know he spawns at the foot of the wither thing that I spawned. Okay, I think this is a good location, even though it's like two blocks away from the ladder. So if he gets free, we're screwed, but uh. All right, I think he needs some more space too, so I'm just gonna clear out some of this area. All right then, he better spawn now, or else it'll be really anticlimactic. Oh, oh wow, okay, he just, okay. I don't, where's my shield? Why don't I have a shield? I don't have a shield, okay. He, he's just, okay, he's just there, okay. He's just there. Oh god, he's working. Oh, it's working! It's working! It's kind of working! Wait, no! He escaped! Oh no. What has thou wrought? What have I done? What have I done? Oh god, I don't have a shield. This is the worst thing. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna use my sword on him. Oh god. Oh god, okay. I was not prepared for this, is the thing. I should've found a better location. We're screwed. We're all screwed. We're all absolutely screwed. We're all- he's right there. He's camping me. He's literally camping me. Okay. Ten front two boxes. There are two boxes. We're all absolutely screwed. We're all absolutely screwed. We're all absolutely screwed. I'm sorry, Cactus Crab Server. I'm, I'm I'm sorry, Cactus Crab Server. I need to heal. I need to heal. Got to heal. How do I how do I heal? Brick, no, please, no. Thirteen seconds. What the heck? No. We're all absolutely screwed. Run, run. We're all absolutely screwed. Run. Okay, I need to get my arm back. I'm get my arm back. I'm please. Okay, okay. Get the sword. Get out the sword. I brought a bow, but I have two arrows, and I had enchantment books for my. I I had sharpness. Okay, I have sharpness five. I just never bought it. I guess. By the way, the wither is killing. I didn't bring a shield. I should have gotten a shield back from home, but I put in my books. Dang it. How do I even, like, kill this man? He's just camping me over there. He's literally just camping me. Oh god, not anymore! He just, like, went, he just zoomed in front of me. What the heck? I, I got blown up by wither? Wait, does that mean my stuff died? We're all screwed. We're all screwed. Put on my armor. Put on my armor. Okay, where's my sword? My, my sword got blown up. Okay, no, it didn't. No, it didn't. We're fine. We're fine. It did not get blown up. It did not- Oh, frick. Oh no. This wasn't supposed to be a wither fight. This was supposed to be me cheesing him. I was supposed to cheese him, not actually try to kill him. Please, no. I'm, I'm gonna have to go back home. And, like, what the heck? Why was there just a random hole there? Turns out the hole is actually a ladder and I just fell to the very bottom. Oh god, okay. Dude, 20 seconds! Why is the wither for 20 seconds long? Why is it 20 seconds long? Now it's 38. What the heck? This is the most- Get this stuff. Get this stuff. Get this stuff. Oh no! I have wither effect now. That's great. I, I, I just came in here and I already have wither effect. Okay, now we're all set to go. I have sharp five on my sword.
Okay, my game crashed, and when I came back, the wither's at full HP again. So, no! Okay, I almost fell and died! Oh god. Or I got him to kill him. Okay, I think he's almost dead. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Oh! Oh my god! Wait, did I actually just... Did I just... Oh my god. I think it worked. That took way too long. That sp I just spent like 30 minutes to kill that wither. I'm gonna die! I'm actually gonna die! I'm gonna die from the wither effect. No! Please! No! Alright, I'm back down here, and this is like a good place you can just truly see how much damage the wither caused. Oh my gosh. Look at this, there's like, this is a giant hole. There wasn't even supposed to be a hole, I was supposed to cheese him, and yet I failed. Somehow I managed to fail that. Now you might be wondering why I went through all that trouble of killing the wither, besides to get another start, which is already pretty OP on its own. But like I said at the beginning of the season, we have a data pack, you can see we have like the dagger and stuff like that. Well, we also have custom armor and custom items, so one of the custom armors and custom items that you can get is actually wither gear, and to get wither gear, you need these. You need wither fragments, and in order to get wither fragments, as I just saw, you need to kill the wither. And we actually got four wither fragments, which is perfect, since you need exactly four to make like a piece of wither gear. The only thing is, you also need netherite armor and netherite swords to make uh, wither stuff, and I don't have any of that yet, so for now we just have to hold on to this. And uh, I'm sorry to whoever has to clean this up, because it ain't me! However, I actually still have nine wither skulls on me, so I want to try to like do the thing, like the cheese that I attempted to do, but failed really bad this time. Except this time I won't feel really bad, at least I hope. Okay, I found a spot that could potentially work, but I said that last time, so you can't really trust what comes out of my mouth. Let's see. It's better work, let's be very sad. Oh god, okay. Okay, he's growing, he's growing big, oh god. I need to get out. Oh god, I don't want to get exploded. Please no. Please no, please no, please no. Let's just, let's just watch him. Is it working? Uh, kind of? Wait, is it working? Hold up, what is this? I mean, he's taking damage, but not a lot. I don't want to hit him because I know that'll boost him back up. I mean, he's taking damage, so slowly it is working. It works very slowly, is all I can say. He's almost at a quarter of HP down, which is a lot. I mean, because I wasn't really expecting this to work, so I don't want to like count my chickens before they hatch. But I think this is work. I'm, I'm going to get like a half of it works. I mean, it works. Oh wait, no, it doesn't. It doesn't work. Right as I said that, he he fell through the hole. Okay, I gotta have to kill him. Here we are again, we're just here, shipping away HP at this wither HP stuff. Okay, die, please, die! Die! Just die, please! Please, sir! Oh my god! Okay, he died, he died, he died, it's good, it's all f Look at that, we got another four fragments, okay. I can't confirm the method does not work, do not try it at home, I'll, I'll, I'll wait until we get to the end for that. I still got six wither skulls, but I think we're gonna have to get someone to help me kill the withers, because I don't think I can pull off the same lucky break I did for the other two. I've been focusing so much on the wither for us that I actually kind of forgot. We have two nether stars now, so we can make beacons, we can do whatever now, really. Alright, so I went down to the cave and got some obsidian, and I think we can craft some beacons if I remember how to craft this correctly. Oh my god, is that a- Two beacons! Fourth episode, two beacons, let's go! I also have 46 deaths, which is kind of ironic since before I started recording this, I had like three. I also went down and got eight more obsidian to make an ender chest, because I need this really badly. Oh, yes, yes. Another thing I've been grinding out a lot is sand. You can see my boy B Island over there is really appreciative of my work. But look at this, six stacks of sand. And in my chest over here, I have some gunpowder. I think this is five stacks of gunpowder. I think you can already see where this is going. Don't worry, we're not gonna like blow up anyone's base or anything. We're just gonna empower myself on the server. An unbelievable amount. Oh, that's all the gunpowder I have, okay. One stack of TNT. I know TNT is hard to get, but bro, you don't have to do me that bad. You might be able to get like two netherite scraps tops. But yeah, I just leave what we're doing right now, so I need netherite scraps really badly because one, I'm broken netherite, and two, you need netherite- I just failed that, but you need netherite to use the wither fragments, and I really want to show you guys what the wither fragments do in this episode. I don't have any blocks on me, so I guess we're just gonna use the same place again. But yeah, I think I found it. This really screams me pulling a one when you see all the fire and explosions everywhere. Alright, I'm gonna get my TNT out, and we're just, we're just gonna start, like, mining it out. Look at all this fire, there's so much, oh my gosh. But uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna get started. I'm gonna take out, like, a little tunnel. We can just blow a lot of stuff up, I guess. Let's hope we find a lot. Wow, OMG, look at these amazing camera angles. This is my first time using replay mod for literally anything, so don't judge it too hard, please. This video was actually recorded like a week ago, but I procrastinated editing it for like a week, so here we are now. After this video, I might switch back to more variety type content, I don't know what my future plans are, I just don't want to like be just, just spam posting Cactus Craft, especially if like, Cactus Craft isn't what you guys want to see. But I mean, enjoy the really crappy camera angles, I guess.
Okay, so I just locked in a bunch of my TNT started exploding. I didn't even light it yet. I was hoping to light it, but I think some of the fire from uh, from previous expeditions set off my TNT. So I'm just gonna light that and we're just gonna run away. I mean, the TNT got set off. It's all that matters, I guess. But uh, I was gonna show you. Oh wow, that did not go as I hoped. Okay, uh, I guess we're gonna have to let off the TNT by hand. <laughs> I don't. I think I spaced a little bit too much. I thought it was gonna explode quicker. I guess I was wrong. Oh god, there's lava. Okay, there's lava and gravel. I think I did the TNT a bit too low too. I know I was digging at Y9, and I was supposed to dig at Y11, but... Okay, I think all of this is from my TNT. So it must have lit itself. Okay, that's good, it worked, I think. There's a lot of lava here, I'm gonna have to... Let's look for debris. I don't know if we actually found any. I doubt we did, because I know I get really unlucky. But, I mean, we'll see. I don't see much here. Maybe I should turn on, like, a texture path that, like, highlights the ancient debris. I don't know. Oh, I didn't even finish lighting itself here. I'll light it. Like that. Run. Run, run, run. Alright, let's watch this. Okay, so that's what happens. Oh crap, okay, okay. Did it just, it just killed itself again. Wow, we found zero debris, that's very nice. I made, I made it too low, I didn't, I didn't find any debris. Okay, what the heck, so we were just about to leave, this is where we just were. But I thought, whatever, just dig around a little bit for fun. Cause you know, you might find something, like you won't actually find something, but just for fun. And I did find something. Uh, so we found ancient debris. Uh, okay, I guess. It's kind of fun. Is are there more around here? Let's look for more. Much more around here. Oh, wait. No, there is. Oh, my. Wait, what the heck is this? This is like three vein? Is there more around here? Or is that just it? Wait, what? How did I. Okay, so I literally just dug like five blocks. I just dug around. This is where I found the debris, and I just dug up a little bit to look around, and I found this. It's like right there. Okay. Four debris. That's enough for a death right in That's kind of ironic. My stack of TNT didn't find anything, and yet me digging around with a pickaxe for like two seconds did. Oh wait, I stand corrected, it did actually find something, I just missed it, it was on the ceiling the entire time. I'm glad I saw it on the way out, otherwise we would just be leaving, missing, like what, three pieces of debris? Alright, I'm gonna smoke these, and I'll get you guys when we're done. Alright, for another scratch is finished, that means we can make an ingot. Oh, I'm excited now. Right, let's see, just scatter it around, just go like, the most unconventional other right ingot. I'm gonna put this on my chest plate so I can make a wither chest plate and flex on everyone. I have a wither chest plate, you guys. Oh my god, netherite chest plate. This is already intimidating enough, but it gets better. So, if we get the wither frags that we just got, where's my inner chest? Here we go. You take four wither frags, I think, in a netherite piece. I'll just show you what happens. Okay. I'm gonna make like a grand stage for this. Get ready. One, two, three, four. I'm trying to make this as over dramatic as possible. Plus a netherite chest plate. Oh my gosh. Nobody, nobody's online to see me get the goal, but that's fine. We just got it. Wither chest plate. Receive immunity to the wither effect. Full set bonus. I don't have that, but look at this, bro. I have custom, custom armor. I'm just gonna flex on everyone. Everyone, if you're watching this video, you've just been flexed on. Get wrecked. So if we can get more another right, that means we can upgrade my helmet, leggings, boots, and sword as well. I'm really excited for this. I need to get a lot of wither, wither armor, wither gear. And I can resell it to everyone else for super high amounts of profit. That's how we do it on the Cactus Craft server. If you guys wanted to see stats, here you go. Two knockback resistance, five armor toughness, and eight armor. I don't know how that compares to netherite armor or diamond armor. You guys can look it up yourself. I'm putting the rest of the netherite scraps in here for if we get more, we can make another ingot. It's been eight days since I recorded that last clip, and in those eight days, all hell has broken loose. People are rich now, like, actually, they have, like, over, they have stacks and stacks of diamonds, and what do I have? I have, like, sitting here with my poor little, like, 13 diamonds. Of course, I could easily solve this problem by going mining, but mining is overrated, so we turn to another option. Capitalism. So I haven't really touched this aspect of Cactus Craft yet, but we make shops, uh, sell stuff, uh, give me free money. And I have experience with these kind of things, you know, basically like tricking people into giving you free money, and basically the early burn gets the worm. We gotta start making the shops as early as possible. Right when people need the materials for them to make their bases, we need to like reserve, reserve shop names, reserve shop products. I actually already made the shop, but then replay mod said that there was like an error or something, so the recording didn't get saved. So now I just have to show you guys the final product. The shopping district is actually spawn, but I think this is like a sub area of the shopping district. So I think over here this is like berry bees or whatever. Aylin's incredibly overpriced berry shop. I know that over here, what is this? It says take the items in the chest and leave something for the next person. Well, that's junk. I really like this nice, like, little farm hillside. Kind of there's like, a chicken stuck in there. But I like how, like, the water flows down. 
It looks, it's kind of cool. I was maybe we could do something like that with, like, carrots and potatoes or whatever. But if you look over here, this is where I've made my shop, because, of course, I'm too lazy to grind for blocks, so I just made this. It's the same thing. It's a rocket booster, just upscaled by, like, one block in each dimension. Down here, I tried to mix, like, concrete powder and, like, coal and stuff like that to make it seem like the ground was charred. Except it looks absolutely trash, because I don't know how to build anything at all. I honestly don't know where I'm going with the shop. I just built it, because this is the only blocks I had. <laughs> but right now, there's not really even a way to buy stuff. I don't have any products and I don't want to build or get any product, so I think, honestly, we're just gonna, like, make a little chest, and you're just gonna plop stuff in there and have people buy from there, I guess. Now we're gonna go with a really time-honored technique here on the Cactus Craft server, so we're gonna put buy my stuff, and we're gonna say it's five diamonds, and inside we're just gonna put this random junk I have, we'll just put, uh, why do I have protection four? I have protection four in my inventory. When did I get protection four in my inventory? Okay, anyways, if someone actually buys this, I'll be genuinely impressed, not because of my cleverness, but because of their stupidity. I think now is also a good time to go preview, like, berry bees or whatever. I know he sells, like, the really overpriced, like, what, one diamond for two stacks of berry bushes. There's literally a berry bush right here. Suggestion for the owners of berry bees, you can, like, put some more food in here, like, golden carrots or, like, steak, because I don't want to eat sweet berries. I personally don't like eating sweet berries. They're not very filling, so. Wow, he's out of, no, he's not out of stock, actually. One diamond for two stacks. You can't even open the top chests, and there's no ender chest in here, so I can't go grab my diamonds anyway, so that's rip. Also, I know you have to, like, mark out your property, but, like, the basalt outline just kind of ruins it. We understand this is your property. We're not gonna, like, blow it up or anything. I like this little cave, too. It's honestly... I feel like the cave is the highlight of, like, the berry bees, because, like, there's, like, a little cave in the background. Maybe you could, like, make a whole thing out of the cave. I think it would be a cool idea if someone could, like, actually turn this into, like, a full-fledged cave. Like, there could be, like, armor stand miners or, like, working, and there's, like, separate, so, like, stations where you could buy stuff based on what the miners were, like, mining. Like, you could buy, like, emeralds from, like, an emerald vein or, like, gold from a gold vein. And there's, like, all these, like, minecart dioramas. There's, like, people, like, slowly, slowly just, like, waving at you as they go slowly in the minecart. That would be kind of cool. If anyone's gonna, like, try this, you guys can hit me up. I, I, I can do some armor stand work if you guys want that. One thing I will say though is I like the block palette. I know he used this on his own base too, but I like how he like uses the 1.17 blocks. You have the cobble deep slate here, maybe like some some of the uh, polished deep slate. I don't know what this is called. But then he also mixes, he blends it really well with the regular like andesite and cobblestone. And it all just comes together really nicely with the jungle wood and mixed variation wood types. For me personally, I find it kind of hard to mix wood types together and make it look good. But he did that, he did that really well. So I give him a compliment for that. There's also like this little lily pad thing. I don't know if like, what, Cam, is it Cam JK? I think made this. I don't know if he has the rights to build here because it's like two blocks away from Elin's base, but Amazon Mini Mart. Everything here is one diamond. Order for more. Now supplying chains and lanterns. I did it. Well, this is useless. Okay, so there was one more thing I wanted to try today. And if you look at my head, you can see I'm uh, looking a bit different today. If you don't know, my head right now is one of the runes from Hypixel Skyblock. Uh, it's not a good game. Don't play it. But we have to play our heads data pack install, which means if you kill yourself or if you kill someone else, they will drop, the killed person will drop their head, so I think it's known if you shoot yourself with a bow, that counts as a player kill. I will die, and then I'll drop my head, and I want to see if this actually works or not. Stop missing, please. Bang, first shot. That does barely any damage. I'm just going to regenerate it all back with the head. Is that going to be on a tree? That's going to be on a tree. Please, shoot. Yes! Dominant H was shot by Dominant H. It's so cursed. Oh, I, and, and I respawned here. I didn't set my spawn. Okay, I'm back. I got my stuff. Wait, is that my- Okay. I can confirm it works. Okay, so I've got about three of these. You can see I've changed my skin. So I want to see. It should work for this other skin too. Bang, let's go. Alright, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, I can confirm it worked. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think I'm going to place this one just to further deter anyone who wants to come even near my base. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for today. We had a lot of fun, you know, a lot of shenanigans. So Wither Gear, which is pretty pog. It's episode 4, we have Wither Gear. Uh, I'm a ghost, I hope this isn't permanent, but I mean... Oh my god, Cactus Craft lore. Everybody, nobody wanted it, nobody asked for it. But uh, thanks for watching, and subscribe. Bye-bye.